Okay, so I'm just going to speak to you about achieving optimal ruminal development. This is a key objective of the milk rearing phase, the other one being to grow the calf. So we want to grow that calf and also development, develop the rumen uh, for the future diet of grass and forage that they're going to be consuming. As you can see here, the calf starts out uh, with 70% of the abomasum dominating the uh, digestive system. So they're very much dependent on the liquid diet at that stage. Over the next 12 to 13 weeks, then the rumen develops and it swaps over basically taking up 70% of the digestive system. So weeks one to four, very much dependent on the liquid diet. So um, need to get the milk feeding process correct at that stage. Then from weeks four to eight, we're going through transition where the rumen is developing. And then by the time they reach 12 or 13 weeks, uh, the rumen will be fully developed. It's important that we're developing it fully in order to be able to e extract the nutrients from grass and forage subsequently. How we go about developing the rumen is important. So the feedstuffs that are offered influences that. Forage versus concentrates, slightly different uh, propionic acid and butyric acid and acetic acid, etc., have different roles. So energy source for growth versus the energy source for the growth of the ruminal wall. So concentrates, very, very important for ruminal wall development. So I've already said it, concentrate is important. So consumption of calf starter and water, very significant in driving ruminal development because of the bacteria that's produced in the rumen that helps it to develop further. We should be offering starter concentrate from day three and also fresh water, piped water effect as well is, is very important. Starter and water intake will increase over time um, as calves get used to it and their intakes start to increase. It's important to note that as, if milk volumes are quite high, so if they're on ad lib milk maybe, ruminal development will be slower and if that has to be factored in in terms of the weaning, uh, when we are going to wean the calf then. It's important that the ruminal development is maximized in order to avoid this post weaning growth check and calves should really only be weaned when they're consuming at least one kilo of concentrates and ideally more potentially. It's important then also that calves are at their maximum weight or their appropriate weight for for weaning and this can be seen here on the table depending on the maintenance sub index of your herd that's going to dictate what level the calf has to be at in terms of their weaning weight and we have a target of 15 percent of the cow's mature body weight